What's up guys, Josh Luck here, and we all know that Facebook is getting rid of audience insights. That's kind of disappointing, and as of now, they haven't released whether they're coming out with an alternative tool or kind of another solution for that. So I made a video a couple weeks back talking about that tool, but since they've gotten rid of it, I wanted to find an alternative solution. So this past month, I've been looking all over the internet for a solution, and I think I might have finally found one. So I'm excited to show y'all what it is. Now, as I was searching, I found maybe about 15 or so tools, but the problem was they all either cost like $100 a month, they weren't really what I was looking for, or they were kind of sketchy. So I wanted to find a replacement that was free because I don't have the budget to spend $100 a month, so I'm not gonna expect y'all to. Um, and I think I found one hiding in Google Ads of all places. So let's jump in here to Google Ads and I'll show you kind of a workaround to get your Facebook audience insights. Alrighty, so we're here in Google Ads and if you don't have an account, all you need is a, just a regular Google account. You can sign into ads.google.com and meet me here and we can get started. So what we're gonna do is go up here to the top corner. You can't see it because it's out of my capture window, um, but it's gonna say tools and settings. Click on that. And we're going to get down to Audience Manager. Now we've been in here before in past videos, but we're going to go to a different section here. So on the left, you have different options, and then at the top you have sub options. What we're going to do is go to Audience Lists and go over here to Custom Audiences. And then once you're here, go up to this blue circle icon and hit Create New Audience, and it will pull up this window. Now this window is what I found as the solution. So Facebook audiences was essentially a way to get insights on the demographics of the people you're targeting. So what you'll do is you'll type in interests and then Facebook, the old Facebook tool would give you insight on gender, age, where they're from, essentially just broad demographics, which was really helpful because it helps you tone in or hone in on who you want to target. So go up here to name your uh, name your audience. Let's just do test for this purpose. And then the important part is this first one right here. And the keyword is purchase intentions. So intentions, I, uh, I guess, is just Google's way of saying uh, the characteristics of a person who is interacting with your ads. And these are obviously going to give you analytics for Google ads. But we can take the information we learn here and translate it over to your Facebook ads when you type in interests. So by searching the intentions, we are actually getting a feel for the demographics. So after the first one selected, go over here to add interests. And this is where you kind of have to get into the mind of your user. And this is where it can get kind of confusing. So you're not going to search like keywords. You're going to search interests and intentions. So let's say, for example, I have a coffee shop and I want people to search for my coffee shop and find me locally. Instead of typing the interest coffee shop, I'm going to think about how they may search for it. So instead of coffee shops, I'm gonna do coffee shops near me because people who type in coffee shops near me have the intention of going to a coffee shop, if that makes sense. So let me type in here, coffee shops near me. And then if you're kind of confused where to start, you can start typing and it'll auto fill for you. So let me choose um, closest coffee places near me, um, best rated coffee places near me. Uh, sure, I've got a 24 hour one, 24 hours. So you can select a few and then you can go back and type some more for different options. But what we're going to do is once you have your intentions or what people will search to find you, we're going to go over here to the right and ta-da, that's where you find the demographics. So it's very simple. Obviously the weekly impressions, ignore that because that's gonna be your Google impressions and not Facebook. Uh, Facebook can tell you this on its own. Where, where What's really important is the gender, the age, the parental status, and maybe some topics. So now when I'm creating my Facebook ads, let me jump over here to Facebook. Um, I, I assume you know what this is. This is just putting in your audience on Facebook. So the age, I can look at the demographics, and so people searching for coffee shops near me, 58% male, so not one way or the other, so I'm going to keep it both, um, but as I can see, there's a spike from 25 to 34, um, yeah, 25 to 34, so I'll go over here to Facebook ads and go 25 to 34, and then back here, uh, parental status, not a parent, and parent. That's actually interesting. So I would have thought people who would be looking for coffee shops would be parents, maybe because they need some caffeine boost. 
Um, but as I can see here, I should target single or parentless males who are 25 to 34. And that's a general demographic. Now, I will say coffee shops is very amb amb ambiguous, ambiguous, where, you know what I'm talking about. Um, whereas they're all kind of similar, you're not gonna see a huge spike. But let's say you're selling, um, I don't know, like joint reliever, you might have an older swaying audience with primarily male and parents. So as you can see, this is very helpful to kind of get a feel for who you, t who you should target as opposed to just searching interests. And all this information here is basically what we lost with the Facebook Audience Insights. So um, I think it's a pretty good solution for free. Now, if you do want to do your own research and pay $99 a month, there are some really good tools out there. But if you're like me, you like free stuff. So I'm going to stick with this. But if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. It can be kind of confusing knowing exactly what to search. Um, so if you have questions about your specific situation, let me know in the comments. And um, thanks for watching. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up, subscribe. I post twice a week. And I will see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching.